Early in Egypt, a high priest engages in an affair with the mistress of the pharaoh, Anksu Naman, despite it being strictly forbidden. One night while being intimate, they are caught by the pharaoh. Before he manages to have them executed, Imhotep and Anksu Naman murder him. Imhotep is dragged away by his priests before the guards of pharaoh can discover his involvement, while Anksu Naman kills herself, believing that Imhotep will resurrect her. One night they steal the body of Anksu Naman and flee to city of Hamanoptra, city of the dead, to perform the ritual to bring her back to life, using the Book of the Death. Before they can finish the resurrection they are caught by Pharaoh's guards. Anksu Namun's soul is sent back to the underworld, while Imhotep and his priests are mummified and buried alive. The story starts in Hamanoptra, where French Foreign Legion, led by American Rick O'Connell is fighting the Medjai warriors. The Medjai outnumber the French, forcing them to retreat. Rick being surrounded is prepared to be executed by gunshot. Before this happens, suddenly the whole army of the Medjai vanishes. Rick witnesses a strange force that manifests itself, which causes him to run away into the desert. Three years later an aspiring Egyptologist Evelyn is given an ancient mysterious box by her gambling addict brother Jonathan. The box contains a map that Evelyn believes lead to the lost city of Hamanoptra. She presents the map to her boss and museum curator Dr. Bay, who does not believe her. Dr. Bay accidentally ends up burning a piece of the map. When asked where he got the map, Jonathan admits that he stole it from an American, who turns out to be Rick. Evelyn and Jonathan go to visit Rick, who is in prison. When asked about Hamanoptra, Rick admits that he has been there before, and knows the way. Evelyn asks him to give her the direction, to which Rick responds by kissing her, and telling her that he will help them, if they get him out of prison. While Rick is getting ready to be executed, Evelyn tries to plea with the ward. She informs him that Rick knows the location of Hamanoptra, and offers him 25% of the found treasures for Rick's freedom. The ward agrees. Evelyn, Jonathan, Rick and the ward board the ship and start their journey. During their trip they meet another group of men looking for the same city. The group is led by the coward soldier, Benny who was in the same battle at Hamanoptra as Rick. The boat is attacked by Medjai warriors who are looking for the map. Rick, Evelyn and her brother escape, while the boat burns down. They continue their journey through the desert on camels. During their journey they meet the other group again, who by the looks of it also manage to escape the ship wreckage. They end up racing each other, and arrive at Hamanoptra at the same time. Upon arrival they explore the city separately. The other group of Americans discover the statue of Anubis. They have it opened by several of their carriers. The statue turns out to be booby-trapped, and when opened it releases acid spray, killing the carriers. Meanwhile on the other side, Evelyn's team discover a tombstone. Upon closer look Evelyn discovers that there is a key opening on the chest. The box given to her by Jonathan fits perfectly in the opening. But before they can open the chest they are interrupted by the ward screaming in pain. It turns out that while looking for lost treasures, the ward has been infested by insects, leading to his death shortly after. Later while Evelyn and the team are resting outside, they are once again attacked by the Medjai warriors. A fight between them ensues, one of the leaders of Medjai warriors, Bay, warns them of the evil forces that exists in the city. He spares their lives, and gives them one day to leave the city. Going against his advice, both of the teams continue exploring the city in the night. Evelyn and her team opens the chest they found earlier, and find a relatively well-preserved mummy, which turns out to be Emotep. The other team of Americans, find the Book of the Dead, and take it with them. While everyone is sleeping outside, Evelyn steals the Book of the Dead, and uses her key box to open it. She starts reading from the book which results in the awaking of Emotep. In that moment the priest traveling with the other group, wakes up and yells for Evelyn to stop reading. A giant plague is released, forcing everyone to run inside the city. Inside, the groups are split up. One of the Americans is attacked by Emotep, who absorbs his eyes and tongue, resulting in him slowly being regenerated. While running, Evelyn comes face to face with him. Convinced that Evelyn is his long-lost love Anksu Naman, he does not harm her. Their moment is interrupted by Rick, who barges in yelling for Evelyn to run, unaware of Emotep. When Rick turns around he spots him. At first Rick is taken back, then he starts shooting at him, and runs away with Evelyn. While looking for Evelyn and Rick, Emotep comes across Benny, but before he gets the chance to kill him, Benny holds up a David star and starts mumbling prayer in Hebrew. Emotep recognizes this as the language of the slaves, and spares his life in return that Benny serves him. Evelyn, Jonathan and Rick manage to escape with the other Americans to the nearest city. 
While waiting for the ship that leaves the next day, Rick and Evelyn start to argue. Evelyn wants to stay in the city and find a way to kill the mummy, while Rick does not. In the other room, the American who lost his eyes and tongue is unknowingly visited by Emotep, who ends up absorbing the remaining of his body. Rick, while trying to cool down in the bar, notices the fountain turning red. Realizing that the mummy has arrived to their location, he goes to find Evelyn and informs her about it. In that moment, fireballs start dropping from the sky. Deducing that Emotep will go after the Americans that found the Book of the Dead, Rick and Evelyn go to find the man that lost his eyes and tongue. When they arrive, they find his dead body and Emotep who have regenerated more. Rick tries to shoot him but to no avail. The mummy spotting Evelyn refers to her as Ank Su Naman and tries to kiss her. In that moment a cat steps on a piano, Emotep spotting the cat becomes terrified and leaves. The group end up going to the museum to see Evelyn's boss, hoping that he might have some answers. Upon arrival they are surprised to find Evelyn's boss with Bay. Dr. Bay reveals that, he and Bay are part of a secret society designed to prevent Emotep's resurrection. From their conversation it becomes clear that the mummy is planning to resurrect his old lover using Evelyn's body. Evelyn hypothesizes that they can use the Golden Book of Amun-Ra to kill the High Priest again. They learn that the Golden Book is still located in Hamanoptera beneath the statue of Horus. In that moment the museum is surrounded by natives that have been hypnotized and infested with the plague. The natives start chasing the group, who attempt to escape by car. They end up crashing and are cornered by the natives. Emotep comes forward and tells Evelyn to come with him, in return he will spare the others' lives. Evelyn agrees. As Evelyn and the high priest are leaving, he goes back on his word and the natives attempt to kill the others. Rick, Bay, and Jonathan manages to escape through the sewers. With the help of a World War II pilot Winston, Rick and the others fly to Hamanoptera. On their way they encounter a sandstorm created by Emotep, which leads to their plane crashing, killing Winston. Meanwhile Emotep preparing to resurrect his lover, ties Evelyn and puts her next to Anksu Namun's mummified body. Sensing Rick and the others' arrival, Emotep resurrect mummy priests and orders them to resurrect the others and kill the mortals. Rick and the group making their way to the statue of Horus encounter the army of mummy priests and a battle ensues. While engaging in the fight they finally come across the statue of Horus and locate the Golden Book of Amun-Ra. Meanwhile being surrounded, Bay sacrifices himself and tells the others to go save Evelyn. Emotep starts the process of resurrection and speaks the words that bring Ank Su Naman back to life. But before he can finish the process by stabbing and killing Evelyn, Jonathan distracts him, yelling that they have found the Golden Book of Amun-Ra. Emotep starts going after Jonathan. Rick comes out from behind and attempts free Evelyn, while fighting of the other mummies. Before Evelyn and Rick manages to escape, a larger army of mummies surround them. Evelyn tells Jonathan to read the Golden Book, convinced that he will be able to control the mummies this way. Evelyn is attacked by Ank Su Naman. Jonathan has a hard time recognizing the symbols in the book. Evelyn attempts to help him from afar, while fighting of Ank Su Naman. Meanwhile Rick is battling a group of mummies by himself. He is overpowered, and right before the mummies stab him with their spear. Jonathan manages to finish the reading, resulting in the mummies stopping. Emotep orders the mummies to kill the others, but they do not listen to him. Jonathan finally tells them to kill Ank Su Naman. The mummies follow his orders and kill her. Devastated and furious, Emotep charges at Jonathan and tries to kill him. Before he gets the chance to, Rick comes to his rescue and cuts off his arm. Emotep puts his arm back and attacks Rick. Meanwhile Evelyn and Jonathan finds another section in the book, upon reading this section Emotep's soul is taken away, making him mortal. Rick finally stabs him and Emotep finally dies. Suddenly the whole city starts to sink, and Evelyn, Jonathan and Rick manages to escape. Outside they meet Bay who survived the attack of the mummies. Rick and Evelyn have a romantic moment and kiss each other and ride into the sunset. 